Good morning, Trojans. Today is Monday, November 9th, and it is an A day. I'm Max Bloom. And I am Aiden Perez. On today's program, we will hear from Jack Collins about artist Maxfield Bala and the wonderful new murals on our campus. We'll also hear about our freshmen who have birthdays in November, but first, the news. Welcome to Trojan Broadcast News. In local news, we have the results from our local election. For the city council, the three candidates who are voted in are Brian Barnacle, Dennis Woseke, and Mike Healy. For the Board of Education, the two candidates who are elected are Sheldon Jen and Ellen Webster. And finally, the measures that were on the 2020 ballot. Measure P, which would increase police oversight and increase law enforcement transparency, passed. Measure O, which would provide local mental health and addiction services, passed. Measure U, which would authorize the city of Petaluma to increase the sales tax by 1%, passed. And finally, Measure CC, which would ensure the continued operation of the Petaluma Valley Hospital, passed. In national news, the Red Cross Foundation is offering services to members of the American Armed Forces and their families, as well as providing disaster relief around the United States. Here in the United States, the Red Cross has four Veterans Affairs hospitals within the Western New York region. As an active member of the Armed Forces or have family affiliation with the member, the Red Cross Foundation is offering special benefits at these veterans hospitals locations amid the pandemic. Specifics on benefits can be found on the Red Cross webpage at redcross.org. And finally, in international news, people in Poland are protesting a court decision that would ban nearly all abortions. Over 430,000 people attended more than 400 demonstrations across the country last week. This is the largest demonstration Poland has done in decades. Last Tuesday, Poland's government delayed the implementation of this controversial court ruling as many women refused to go to work. Many people feel this ruling would be incredibly discriminatory against women and that they feel the bill should be waived. The Polish government says the bill would stop the killing of unborn children and that, is, that it is in line with their constitution. More information about these news stories can be found in this video's description. And now, this week's first announcement is the results of our PHS Halloween costume contest. First off, a huge thank you to everyone who sent in their costume submissions. We had some amazing submissions and it was hard for the contest committee to choose the winners. But after much discussion, they settled on these three. Most crazy cool, Hope Carver. Most recognizable, Chloe Alves. Most creative, Roan Ratliff. Congratulations to our Halloween costume contest winners. Our next announcement is about sports training. Sports training will be canceled for this week and likely next week too. This is because of a huge Halloween party that happened last weekend. Apparently of hundreds of students from both CASA and PHS attended this party. Because of the risk of transmission of COVID-19 between the students who attended and the worry of it spreading, staff have decided to cancel sport training for the next few weeks. I talked to athletic director Ray McClintock about this decision. So Mr. McClintock, why was this choice made? Yeah, so, I mean, everyone knows the situation we're, we're in. Sonoma County is still in the purple tier. Um, athletics have been postponed. School is still in distance learning. Um, and so everyone, you know, uh, of course, wants to get back to, you know, some sense of normalcy. Um, and the only way to do that is to be safe. And so when uh, school officials heard of, of a party and the possibility of, you know, some of our student athletes possibly being in, in, in attendance, we just erred on the side of caution and wanted to postpone practices for um, at least a week and possibly two, uh, just to make sure that, that everyone is, is safe, both those that may have attended the party or those that, that have not. And how do you see this cancellation affecting the rest of the sports season? Yeah, good question. I, um, I actually don't feel like it will affect the rest of the season, season in great detail because fortunately we've allowed our fall sports to start training um, actually several months ago. Um, so they've been out there, you know, conditioning and, and getting in shape and that kind of thing. Um, it's 
always better to be in practice and doing it rather than, you know, having to, to not and take these two weeks off. But I feel like our programs have been in a good spot of preparing themselves. So although it's unfortunate, I feel like we're in a good position to, um, you know, that since we have to take these two weeks off, it won't, it won't be, it won't be that drastic of a consequence for us at this point. Thank you so much, Mr. McClintock. Um, and that's it for our announcements this week. Our next segment is about some new artwork around campus. We have two new school murals painted by Maxfield Bala. Jack Collins has a report. Have you ever noticed that mural by the gym? It was painted by Maxfield Bala, an artist who graduated from Petaluma High School in 2011. His work is featured around our school and throughout the town of Petaluma. Mr. Bala worked with PHS students when designing the murals. The mural by the gym was gifted by the 2018 and 2019 senior classes. The mural represents the different academic, historical, and cultural themes of Petaluma High. Mr. Bala just finished a new one by A-Wing last month. The mural was a gift from the 2020 senior class to PHS. Mr. Bala intended the mural to capture the class of 2020 and their experiences during their last year at Petaluma High. Maxfield Bala is a talented artist and an active member of our Petaluma community. Here at TBC, we want to thank Mr. Bala for making our campus pop. How do you feel about the murals at our school? Let us know in the comments below. Now, back to the anchors. Thank you, Jack. And now to our awesome freshmen who have birthdays in the month of November. Good morning, Trojans. My name is Alicia Morales Franco, and I just want to take some time to wish a happy birthday to our upcoming November freshman birthdays. Linker and I sincerely hope that you guys have an amazing day and that you guys continue to stay safe. Happy birthday from all of us at TBC. That's it for this week's program. Stay safe out there, Trojans. This is Trojan Broadcast Channel, and make it a great day.